Hi everyone, I'm Jackie and I'm here to help you pass your US citizenship interview. A few weeks ago, I released a video to help you practice your US citizenship interview. For those of you who need a little extra help, I've included the applicant's answers in this video. Also, we offer live mock interviews on our website and have helped a lot of applicants pass their US citizenship interview. So make sure to check it out. I'll add the link in the description. Are you ready? Let's do it. Hi, I'm Officer Baker. I'm the immigration officer assigned to interview you today. Can I please have your appointment notice, your green card, your state issued ID, and your passports? Yes, officer, here's all my documents. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, thank you. So how was your weekend? Not too bad. All right, did you do anything fun? My brother came to visit me. I was just hanging out with him. Wonderful. Where does he live? He lives in Singapore. Oh, that's great. All right, you can go ahead and leave your belongings on the table. Before we start, I need to put you under oath. So please raise your right hand. Okay. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. All right, thank you. You can lower your hand. Thank you. Do you know why you're here today? I'm here to take my citizenship interview. Very good. And did you come here voluntarily? Yes, I did. Okay. Are you ready for the interview? I think so. Great. And do you have any questions for me before we start? Yes, I just want to inform you that I made some mistakes on the application, so I just want to update you with the answers. Not a problem. One of the goals of the interview is to make sure everything is accurate and up to date. So I'll go over the application and we'll make changes along the way if needed. That's great to know. I don't have any further questions. Okay. So tell me, why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? I believe in the U.S. Constitution and I would like to vote. Great answer. And what is the U.S. Constitution? It is the supreme law of the land. Thank you. And please tell me your current legal name. Karen Smith. Okay. And have you used any other names? Yes, Karen Tan. That's my maiden name. Okay, thank you. When did you change your name? I changed my name when I got married in 2012. All right. Do you wish to legally change your name today? Yes, I do. Okay, and what will be the name that you want to change it to? I would like to change my name back to my maiden name. Okay, not a problem. Just be aware that your oath ceremony may be delayed because a judge will need to be present at that oath ceremony for that name change. Are you okay with that? Yes. Okay. Can you please verify your social security number for me? 481-36-3424. Thank you. And which year did you get your green card? I got my green card in 2013. Thank you. What's your country of birth? I was born in the Philippines. Do you speak Tagalog? Yes, I do actually. Okay. Thank you. And can you confirm your birthday for me? Sorry, officer. I made a mistake on my application. My birthday is actually August 10th, 1974, not October 8th. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. 
Do you have any disability that requires an accommodation for this interview? No, officer. Great. What's the best number to reach you? It's 529-273-2264. Okay. Is that your home number? That's my cell number. Okay. Thank you. Let's move on to the next section. Do you still live at the same address since you submitted your application? Yes. Okay. Is this also where you receive your mail? Correct. Great. Have you lived at any other addresses in the past five years? No, this is my only residence. Okay, thank you. Are either of your parents U.S. citizens? No, they are not. Okay. Approximately, how tall are you? Five feet, two inches. And how much do you weigh? I weigh 110 pounds. Okay, thank you. Let's talk about your employment. Are you currently employed? Yes, I'm a wedding photographer. I see, and how long have you been doing that? Since 2012. Are you self-employed or working for a company? Self-employed. Okay, do you like your job? I love it. I was really busy after the pandemic last year. All right, great, thank you. Now let's talk a little bit about your travel history. Have you traveled outside of the United States since you submitted your application? Yes, I went to Paris last month. Could you tell me the exact dates from when you left the US and when you came back? I left on August 21st this year and came back on September 1st. Okay, and what was the purpose of your trip? Vacation, I needed a break. Okay. Did anyone accompany you on the trip? No, I went by myself. Okay, what is your current marital status? I'm divorced. When did that happen? Last December. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you have your divorce decree with you? Sure, here you go. Thank you. Okay, and how many times have you been married? Just once. What's your ex-spouse's name? Larry Smith. Do you have to pay child support? No, I don't. Thank you. Can you confirm the number of children you have? Yes, I have two sons. And how old are they? Four and six. And what are their names? Terry Smith and Oliver Smith. Thank you. And where do they live? They live with me during the weekdays and my ex-husband during the weekends. Okay. Are they American citizens? Yes, they were born in Cambria in California. And what are their relationship to you? They're my biological children. Okay, thank you. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No, never. Good. Have you ever registered to vote in the United States? No, never. And why is that? No, because I'm not a citizen yet. I notice you didn't answer question four on part 12. Sorry, officer. This is one of the mistakes that I've made. That's not a problem. Let's take care of that right now. So do you now have, or did you ever have, a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No, I don't. Have you ever been in a mental institution? No, never. Good. Have you paid your taxes since you became a green card holder? 
Yes, I file my taxes every year. Great. Do you have any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No, I don't. Did you bring your tax returns? Yes, I brought the last five years. Okay, are these tax return transcripts? Yes, they are. Great, can I have them? Sure, here you go. Thank you very much. Okay. Since becoming a permanent resident, have you ever called yourself a non-resident on a tax return? No, never. Good. Are you a member of any organized groups or associations? No, I'm not. Okay. Have you ever been a member of the Communist Party, Totalitarian Party, or a terrorist organization? No, never. Good. Have you ever not let someone practice his or her religion? No, I believe in religious freedom. Very good. Can you explain to me what is freedom of religion? You can practice a religion or not practice religion at all. Correct. Very good. Were you ever a member of any military unit or paramilitary unit? No. Okay. How about a police unit or a self-defense unit? No. Okay. Have you ever worked in a detention facility in your country? No. Thank you. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Never. Okay, good. Have you ever been in jail or prison? No. Have you ever had any problems with alcohol or drugs? No, never. Thank you. Do you believe in polygamy? No, I don't. What is polygamy? Marrying more than one person at the same time. Correct. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? Never. Good. Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? Never. Good. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? Never. Thank you. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. All right, we're almost done with the application. Do you support the Constitution in the form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. Great. Do you understand and are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? I do and I'm willing to take the oath. Very good. And if the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? I am. And what's your understanding of bear arms? To use or carry up and to defend you as during a war. Very good. Are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? I am. And are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? I am. Okay, very good. Is there anything I missed in your application that needs to be updated? No, officer. Okay, so please take a look at your application in front of you to make sure one last time all of the information is correct. If it is correct, please print your name, sign, and date on the tablet for me, please.
Everything looks good. Now next, please review the Oath of Allegiance document. And if you agree to all of the statements, please print, sign, and date. Okay. Thank you. Let's move on to the next portion of the interview. Please read the sentence on the tablet for me. Why do people come to America? Good. Now I'm going to read a sentence to you and I need you to write it down on the tablet. Are you ready? Yes. People come to America for freedom. All right, great. You've passed that portion of the interview, and now we're going to move on to the last section, which is the civics test. Have you studied? Yes, I have been studying since I got my biometrics appointment. All right, great. Shouldn't be a problem then. Let's start. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. The Civil War. Good. Who vetoes bills? The president. Correct. And when must all men register for the selective service? At age 18. Great. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. Yes. There were 13 original states. Name three. New York, New Jersey, New Hampshire. Who was the first president? George Washington. Very good. Well, you've got all of them. You've passed all of the tests and met all of the requirements. Congratulations. Thank you. Here is a copy of your interview results. Do you have any questions for me? Could you tell me what the dress code is for the oath ceremony? The naturalization ceremony is a solemn and meaningful event, so please dress accordingly. No jeans or flip-flops. I see. Thanks for letting me know. Can my family attend a ceremony? As of right now, we are limiting the oath ceremony to only the applicants, but they can join you after. Okay, I don't have any more questions. Okay, well, congrats again, and I'll take you to the customer service area. Thank you.